After years of pursuing it at all costs, we've grown disillusioned with money. We didn't learn that money can't buy happiness. What we've discovered is that most of our money was imaginary. It also cast doubt on all the things we bought with that money. The cars, the houses. It all seemed a lot flimsier. Once again, Irish people are turning to the past. Gold. Gold is one of the world's scarcest commodities. There's only 160,000 tonnes of it in the world, and Ireland holds just 5.5 tonnes of this. Gold is the great hedge, as, as everyone knows. It's the great hedge against falling currencies, against falling values, against falling stock market prices, uh, and against anything else that you've got valuable on you. If you hold gold, certainly historically, you've got some sort of hedge against a disaster. I don't have any gold, other than the broken watch I bought on eBay, although I don't think that is gold. Um, but a lot of my friends are into gold. It's the new thing, you know, where people are, it used to be property, now it's, yeah, I'm investing in gold. Not everything now, just a sizable chunk. I have it put aside. When you talk about gold, you have to make that gesture. It was meant to be shares were going to save us all, you know. If we invested in property, we were going to be safe. And then even the bank shares, which were the creme de la creme of the shares, collapsed. People buying gold because they're frightened because they're frightened that their bank accounts weren't, and all their other assets are worth nothing. And so they're taking on a micro level, on a much smaller level, they're taking the kind of punt on gold in case the disaster hits the country. It's a way of, it's a way of saying we're pessimistic about the future. The price of gold has already peaked several times this year, reaching record highs of over 800 euro an ounce. Three years ago, we could have bought gold for roughly half this price. This man encouraged us to invest. Add some bling to your balance sheet and hedge against volatility in other markets. Diversify your assets and buy some gold bullion. But we were all too busy with our property portfolios to listen to Eddie. And now we're having to sell off our gold. When I was in the States during the summer, I've, I, I saw all these ads for, you know, what you're doing with all your old gold and send, up, send us off your gold and we'll give you the best price. Then I came home after the summer and it started here as well. And, like, what's the obsession with gold? Goldparty.ie launched in June this year. In July, they purchased gold to the value of €33,000. By October, that figure had leapt to €156,000. What easier way is there of acquiring money as, like, going to a party, a fun event, handing over old gold, old jewellery that you're never going to use again, and walking away with a cheque? I had some gold myself that had been lying around gathering dust for some years, so I decided you now I would declutter. Some is unwanted ex-boyfriend gold, gold that was passed along from a grandmother or a grand aunt, and the odd little thing that people have purchased along the way and have decided now to part with. It's good fun and you have the chance to make some extra cash in the meantime, which is, you know, it's not, not too bad in this day and age. Very welcome. Well, is it a sign of desperation that people are so willing to sell their precious things and heirlooms for a quick buck? We're in our seventh month now. Since I started, there's probably another 15 companies that have actually opened in Dublin just buying in gold. Our first week, I think we had something like three people walk through the door, and one of them thought it was a takeaway. Now, I've had sort of three customers this morning already, four customers. Um, all its banks have gone to the wall, people are losing their houses, people are losing their jobs. And that is where a lot of my stuff comes from. People are cashing in their gold while it's at a premium. So if you're locked up for 30 years, and if you had 30,000 euro, what would you buy? Would you buy $30,000 worth, or would you buy 30,000 worth in gold? You'd buy gold because it's going to stay more or less the same. It can't be devalued. No, me with gold, I had a goldfish once, that's about it. I have the gold, and uh, just a few thou, a few K in there. I mean, and it always, it always has to come with, I mean, it's the Asians. They're going crazy for it, they can't get enough. They make out like everyone in living in China is dressed as like Mr. T. I ain't eating no wonton, fool. 